Hey guys, Mr. Full Send here. We're here at Pedo Palace, one of my favorite spots to rip in Canton, Michigan. It is a wonderful spot because it's got lots of trees and gaps and buildings and stuff for me to actually practice most of the fundamentals of FPV. But that's not entirely why I'm here today. I actually wanted to share with you something that has been very curious for me over the last couple of years, and that's what do people carry in their bags? You know, for me, when I first started in FPV, I was just worried about getting up in the air. And I would carry, you know, some spare parts, uh, some tape, uh, obviously a prop wrench. Uh, but as I started to get better and started traveling more and I started to go different places, um, I realized there's more that I have to put in my bag. You know, for me, I carry the Low Pro BPX3, which I think is a great bag. Um, I'm gonna go through and show you what I carry on a daily basis. But if you have other ideas and you have other thoughts and things that I might be missing or cool new gadgets, you know, drop them down in the comments below. I'd love to learn from you what you carry in your bag. So for now, let's go take a look at what I carry in my bag. All right, let's go through uh, everything in the bag. Um, it's a lot of stuff, man. I've never seen it just laid out like this. Uh, but there's a lot that can fit in that bag. Uh, I'm carrying the uh, Low Pro BPX3. Uh, love it. Uh, some people think it's a little pricey, but uh, I think it's well worth every penny for just as much as I could put in there and the way it's configured. So um, goggles, uh, I'm carrying the DJIs. I've had the HDOs. Uh, they, these are obviously a little more bulky, but they do fit in there. I've got to take off all four antennas, um, you know, a little more of a pain in the butt than uh, the HDOs, which I only had to take off two antennas, but when I switched to stubbies, I didn't have to take any antennas off, so. Um, but it has a nice bag, nice velvet bag. It pops in, it's, it's, uh, it fits quite nicely. So, got a couple quads. I usually travel with two, um, sometimes three if I'm going far away. Uh, these are two digital quads, um, so I've been flying predominantly both of these, both the Marmot and the Bandolero, just uh, seeing what I actually want to standardize on, so. Um, battery straps, oh man, just lots and lots of battery straps. I go through them a lot. I do like this Aris, uh, that actually is a nice strap. It's from Aris Hobby. It's a Kevlar strap and um, I've bought a bunch of those. So I've got those in there and then just, you know, some disposable straps that I've got. And for anybody else that might need some. Um, let's see, bug spray. This is a, you know, Michigan is a crazy time, especially during the summer. It's just bugs everywhere. So this is actually Repel Max. This thing's fantastic. It works great. Still like to wear shorts, but uh, don't feel like getting eaten alive. Uh, got a pair of reading glasses in there. You know, if I need to do fixes, I can't see crap because I'm old and uh, I need to pop in a pair. Just there, those are spare readers. Um, this thing is fantastic. So very compact in size. This is the ProTech. Um, this is a LED light, great for searching for my quads, you know, at night, um, whatever I need light for, especially uh, out here. We've got lots of bandos that, uh, you know, get pretty dark. Uh, so, you know, using that so we don't get, you know, murdered by hobos or something, at least I'll see it coming. Um, all right, so the transmitter, this thing's fantastic. You can see this fits in my bag great because unlike the Tyrannus, I got to pop off the Crossfire and the regular antenna. These things fold. Um, that thing fits fantastic in my bag. It pops right in the bottom. Um, Lipo safe bag. That's, you know, I know it's not going to prevent a fire, but, you know, it's a great way to carry my batteries. I usually carry somewhere between, you know, eight and 10 batteries. If I'm going further away, I'll do like 15, but I also have a field charging unit that I'll talk about in a second. So um, I do carry all my batteries in there and that just attaches to my bag. So when I was flying analog, I still thought I would share this. When I was flying analog, I actually um, would carry along a flat panel or another set of transformers. Um, uh, the Fat Shack transformers are great because the panel pops out. So I used this on a little tripod for people to watch if I didn't take my transformers, which clearly don't fit in the bag because they're giant box goggles. So uh, always carry one of those. This is my tool bag. Most people use this for lipos. Uh, I use it for my tool bag and I'll show you everything I've got in my tool bag in just a second. Uh, let's go back over here. So fuel charging unit. I am running the Q6, ISD Q6 with the RDQ LED power supply. This is 24 volt, uh, 400 watts. Uh, I had to do some wiring. I put speed connectors on there so that way you can, it's a little safer. Uh, does it kind of comes with bare wire, which is really annoying. So I put some spades on there and um, I power this right off the truck or uh, a 10,000 mAh uh, 6S battery. 
Um, so you can do either one. The 6S batteries, they run 150 to 200 bucks. Um, you could probably get them a little cheaper, um, but that's a, a great way to do some field charging if I'm farther away from my truck. So let's see, uh, soldering iron. This is the TS100. Um, if you don't have one of these, you need one of these. Um, I don't even use my other soldering iron anymore, which is a Hakko. Um, this thing is fantastic. It runs off my lipos. Um, I do have the DC converter for it, uh, so I can plug it in. But uh, you know, this this thing's fantastic for the field. I have touched nothing but that soldering iron. Um, I use some blue tack, so this is great if you're out in the field and you need to pop. I just pop this actually right in there uh, and throw some Kester solder. Uh, this thing success fantastic. If you're not using Kester, um, your soldering jobs will get better because it is phenomenal solder. Uh, this is for marking my lipos. I like to mark how many times I've used them. I put a little check there. Um, this is funny. What do I put in my bag? I put another drone. Um, you know, when these break, um, and invariably they do, and other people are still flying, I don't want to go home. Um, so um, this is the Beta FPV 85X. Uh, this is running the 3S LiPos, and these are the 450 Ma uh, 3S. These are 75C. These are fantastic, so a lot of guys like to fly that thing. Um, I had Justin out there flying it uh, down at the Perfect Bando through tires and stuff. It was kind of fun. Uh, I bring tons of props. I'm running the Ethics S3s. These things are amazing. I have no interest in switching. Um, obviously, I'm doing a prop giveaway on this. If you, well, you don't probably don't know it yet, but at the end, I'll talk about a prop giveaway. Uh, I have a ton of HQ props uh, that I'm just going to be getting rid of because I'm not ever going to use anything but these ethics for now. So, hopefully, someone else can enjoy those props. So, watch to the end. Um, I always carry some spare motors. These are the Zings. These are the 22. These are the 2206. Uh, these are the 2208, 2450s. Uh, so I carry a couple extras um, just in case. Um, these are the uh, pads, landing pads. I tend to pop those off all the time. Um, so I carry a bunch of those. Um, I definitely carry tons of tape. So foam tape, electrical tape, electrical tape, different colors. And then uh, I've got more electrical tape and then uh, the 3M Extreme mounting tape. That stuff's fantastic uh, just to get stuff mounted like my DJI uh, air unit. Um, so floss, you know, you guys won't probably want it. I love to floss. So but besides that, it actually helps uh, when my props get a little, uh, you know, just loose. I can actually wrap a little bit inside of there and tighten it down and it actually um, helps it out a little bit. Um, uh, conformal coating, just in case I have a spot that I missed. Uh, some shrink wrap, uh, a ton of zip ties. Uh, I'll talk about the spare parts box in just a second. Uh, I've got a set of pliers, scissors, wire strippers. Uh, another prop wrench. This prop wrench is fantastic. This is recommended by Josh Bardwell. It's actually a ratcheting prop wrench. Really like this thing. Let me see if I can get right in there. Really like this thing. Um, I've got that one and a small screwdriver. I also have the RDQ kind of toolkit. That's also have, I have another set of pliers, some scissors. Uh, prop wrench in there, but I thought I'd add, I have one more 1.5 millimeter and one, one point, uh, sorry, two millimeter wrenches in there. It's funny when these things loosen up, let me see if I can get in there. When these things loosen up, you need a way to loosen it up. And if it's on your two millimeter wrench, um, then you have no way to, loose, to tighten it up. So I bring two of them. Uh, tons of screws. So these are all M3s here. Um, these are spare caps and spacers. And these are all uh, individual uh, standoffs and, and screws that I might need. Uh, probably got a little overkill there, but um, it, it just in case anything else happens in the field. I've got a uh, GoPro uh, charging cable. Tons of SD cards. I always bring two GoPro batteries and another battery for my Panasonic G85. Uh, an additional, this is the Session, just in case I wanna do stick cams or anything like that, which I started playing with. A smoke stopper, um, in case I need to do any repairs in the field, uh, I wanna check to see if you know anything happened uh, instead of plugging in and frying my board because I'm out in the middle of nowhere and I did a quick solder job. So I bring my smoke stopper. Um, audio, this is, uh, I like to listen to audio. Um, I've got to figure out how to get it on the new quads, but I don't have it hooked up, but I do love uh, to listen to the quad. I can tell better what it's doing. Um, so, you know, that's really it. Believe it or not, 
that all fits inside of this bag. And basically I put, oh, actually I forgot one thing, uh, spare parts. I've got tons of spare parts. So I just used this plastic case. It says ESCs, got some motors in there, lots of antennas, uh, additional cameras. Uh, this is obviously more for my analog world, um, but I've got enough in here to probably build a few quads. Um, so that'll keep me in the air, especially when I was running analog. Uh, I've got to probably redo my box. Um, now I'll probably kind of put a couple of DJI units in there just in case, but I haven't broken one yet. Um, but anyway, take my toolkit. Actually, the toolkit goes right in the back here. Everything else just stuffs through these pockets. Uh, the goggles uh, and the transmitter actually sits down there, and the goggles sit up here with my Beta FPV. So. Um, you know, I'm not putting any quads inside of here. I'm actually putting them on the back side. Uh, and then I put all of my uh, soldering iron and tools across here and then put the RDQ pack down in there. Um, I do put uh, inside of here, I got my laptop, uh, which I'm running a MacBook Pro. Uh, and then props, props go in this wonderful compartment. So um, I actually like, I just throw all my props right in there. Uh, put my pens in here, all my GoPro batteries and stuff I put on my side pockets, um, and my spare batteries, and then my SD cards, SD card reader, all those things I throw in there. Uh, and then lastly, across the top, I actually put the field charging station in there. Um, and that's about it, guys. I mean, I'm always curious what other people have in their bag, how they configure their bag. I really can't believe that all of this actually fits inside of that bag. So um, pretty amazed just laying it all out. Never did that before. Uh, obviously water bottle, gotta have your hydro flask. Um, that's it. I uh, can't think of anything else, but uh, if you do, as I said before, drop a comment down below. Love to hear what you guys are carrying. Um, and that's, uh, that's a wrap. Lost track of the forest through the trees, forgot what I was chasing. Spent so many nights living out at sea that my heart is gone vacant. And everybody who was close to me all stayed on dry land. So now I'm driving back on in the state west, I just gotta feel something. Not gonna wait till the morning, because something's gonna change my mind. I don't wanna change my mind Oh, I wanna stay right here, right here Chilling with my friends for another year I would walk away from the spotlight For the good light oh, Come on, turn your hate into poetry Pain into power And I need some friends and your minutes in the hours I would walk away from the spotlight For the good light For the good light Send my best friend an apologetic text, he says to come over Well the whole damn town has been waiting for the day when you would come back here There was dancing and talking and steaks on the grill and I think that I will be alright And my ex from high school still looks just the same as she did back in 2009 Not gonna wait till the morning Let's never put the night on night Never put the night on ice Oh, I wanna stay right here, right here Chilling with my friends for another year I would walk away from the spotlight For the good light Oh, come on, turn your hate into poetry Pain into power And I need your friends and your minutes in the hours I would walk away from the spotlight For the good light For the good light And they all said I
All right, I'd like to say this was an epic day. Uh, I just got done ripping. You know, it's uh, it was okay. It was a humdrum day. Uh, I crashed a lot. I walked a lot um, to go pick up the quad. I, uh, you know, I just, there are days that are great, there are days that are bad, but the fact is I'm getting out here and I'm flying all the time and, you know, my fundamentals are getting better. Uh, and when I first started, you know, I thought, you know, all these people had these skills uh, that were just, you know, natural or, you know, they were just given to them by God or something. Uh, it's not the way it works. You got to build the muscle memory and keep doing this over and over and over. So while it's a little discouraging, you know, the video's not that great, um, but the fact of the matter is I'm out here. Uh, it's a beautiful day. It's gonna be winter here in Michigan pretty soon. Don't shoot me for those that live here or up north, but it's coming. Uh, days are getting shorter, so you know I gotta get out here and just keep flying. Uh, so that was great. Um, hopefully you enjoyed what's in my bag. Uh, I like to learn from other people, uh, and there are some people in this hobby that don't have other people to fly with. Uh, so they just learn from you know going on YouTube and going to forums. Uh, so share a comment down below on something that you carry in your bag that I might not have mentioned, or you know an idea, or even something just funny. Uh, just go ahead and drop a comment down below. And uh, I tell you what, whoever has the best comment, I will ship you. Uh, I think I've got uh, 13 or 15 packs of 5 by 3s 5.1, and some 5.1 by 3.1 uh, props in here. These are all brand new HQ props. So uh, I will pick a comment uh, in a couple weeks, and uh, then we'll we'll get these props sent out to the person uh, that has the best comment or the funniest comment. So uh, with that, that's it. Sun's going down. I got to go pick up my kids from football and dance and gymnastics and all the stuff that I do to run around. I got this vlog kind of in the middle of all the drop and pick up uh, and that's the way I live my life so uh, love having you guys love talking to you guys uh, and I just love doing this vlog thing so if you like it drop uh, again drop a comment hit a like subscribe hit the subscribe button um, and uh, and tune in so for now I'm out of here nothing but smiles guys